Hi, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of keto, carnivore, and counting calories. I started my journey in August of 2019 and reached my goal in November of 2022. Now that I've reached my goal, I'm focusing on my health, both physical and mental. Thank you for watching. Hey, it is Wednesday. We're going to get things ready for tomorrow, which is Thursday. So come on, let's go. All right, we got our ground beef. We're gonna make us a burger in a bowl. So that means we have to have another container with me here because I like my stuff that gets hot and my stuff that gets cold. She's the hard. Ain't no, I'm saying hard-hearted because she's hard-hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah D.A. Anybody remember that? You gotta be pretty old to remember that one. Cause she's hard hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah. That was like, I don't remember where it came from. I just know it was a song from my childhood. I don't know how, why, where, but uh, I want to say it was like a musical or something. Anyway, <clears throat> but then that brings me to working nine to five. What a way to make a living, barely getting by. With no taking and no giving, he will use your something. The boss won't seem to let it. I swear sometimes I'm mad it out to get me nine to five. All right, now we're going to get us some pickles. I, I enjoyed that today when I did it. I had these pickles. Now, I didn't have them cut, but I didn't really need them. Let's see. Three, four... Five, one more. Oh, come here, fella. All right, six. Because I did two servings. I lost my lid. I did two servings of these are the bread and butter pickle chips. And then I did I did two servings of the, these little no sugar added sweet pickles. So, y'all, this is basically the same thing I had yesterday. But, but. It's just, it's good. Sometimes, you know, you... <clears throat> I know I'm not the only person that eats the same thing over and over. I know I can't be. I just can't be. So, except I am going to be nice to tomorrow's Terry. I am going to take these pickles and I'm going to cut them up a little bit. Because uh, that was a little bit annoying today. So, I'll stack them up and just kind of go through them. Now, let me wash my hand. Hang on. I know what I was thinking. Cause she's cold as ice. She's will not willing to sacrifice. No, she's willing to sacrifice your love. Cause she's cold as ice. She's willing to sacrifice your love. Okay, so we got our pickles cut up. We're gonna put them in the cold container. We don't want to mix our hot and cold here, y'all. Okay. Now from here, from here, we're gonna add in some. Pick uh, ketchup, some of our G Hughes ketchup. So we're gonna zero it out. We'll see. Oh shoot, I erased the numbers up above. If I would have had those numbers, I'd have tried to do it again. Oh wait a minute, I got the wrong units. I have no idea. Thirty-five. Mm, okay, that works. That's thirty-five grams of this. That's two servings of the ketchup. And then let's do two servings of this. Wait a minute, what is a serving? Nope, we'll do one serving. 30 grams of the barbecue sauce is one serving. So you know what? If you're going to somebody's house and they're having a barbecue and they're having not the right kind of meats, or you know they're going to have meats, just pack this up. Just pack this little thing up and then we're going to do a little pssst of mustard. Just a pssst of mustard. Pack, pack you a little cold thing to take along. And then when you get there, hang on, when you get there, you take your burger and you can put this on there and you'll be good to go, man. That's that. Just take that little jobber with you if you're going to somebody's house who's having a, a barbecue. But you got to season it now. Come on. Man. We're going to put us some farm dust on here. Yeah, buddy. And let's put a little bit of the, ooh, Kinder's, oh no, not fajita blend, girlfriend. 
Oh, excuse me. Kinder's wood fire garlic. That's what we're having. I just ate my ice cream for the first time for my creamy. And, I, you know, it whips up a lot of air into it. So, I'm blaming that for my burps. Just be quiet and just nod your head and smile and look pretty, y'all. Nod your head and look pretty. <clears throat> Set that back there. Next, we got our salad to go. <clears throat> the salads are the same thing every time. But they still manage to taste different because I put different seasonings on it. And I'm doing this right now because I didn't do it today. Or maybe I did. We'll do some ranch seasoning. I like me some ranch. Um, oh, I need to use this up. Let's use some Montreal chicken. Y'all, it don't matter what seasonings you put on stuff. Just be adventuresome. Try stuff. It may be disgusting. Or it may be the best thing you ever tried in your life. Let's put a little bit of everything Flavor God everything. You might be like, mm, nope, not doing that tomorrow. Or you may be like, I need this in my life every day forever. So try things. All right. So jicama. All righty. Got our jicama. And since I make out my pickled veg, it's, oh, wait a minute. I need to get a little wedge, a laughing cow cheese wedge. Hold on. Okay. Because she's cold as ice. She's willing to sacrifice your love. So I made these on Sunday. So it's still going on. It's going strong. It's fine. I put that paper towel in there. Maybe I should put one on this side next time and do the ones that have a double paper towel like on Thursday and Friday. But anyway, it's working fine. I don't have no problems with it. I just keep look, digging in my thing for random spoons that have slots in them. So this is the one we're using tonight. And this is just some pickled veg. I just kind of divide it up. Um, it's kind of, I wonder if I have any more cucumbers. I'm going, I get, we get paid on the 7th which I think is Friday. So I'll be going to Walmart on, on Saturday. Alrighty. Cause I want to get some cucumbers for my pickled veg. Now we're going to add in, we're going to zero it out. And I'm going to add in, this is just a mixture of vinegars and some leftover pickle juice from, from the last pickles and some leftover pickle juice from Probably some from some of these or some of these because when these are done, I take that liquid and I put it in here. Now this is my, my official salad dressing. It's my G. Hughes stuff. I watered it down a little bit more than usual, but yeah, it's all right. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It don't hurt no thing to have it a little extra watery. All right. Now. So, what we're looking at, we have our salad for lunch, our spoon, we have our main, our, our ground beef for lunch, eyes up here buddy, eyes up here. We got our main, our meat, and then we've got our, our, our stuff to make our burger in a bowl of burger, and then we've got our baffle with cheese wedge. So, I'm popping this in the refrigerator. And that is all. Because she's cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice your love. Okay, love y'all. Bye. Don't you worry your pretty little head none. I remember my apple. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna miss out on my apple. Good morning. It's breakfast time. We have our baffles. I already put the, uh, the uh, laughing cow cheese wedge on it. I know some of y'all said you're trying these, and um, so what do y'all think of them? I know one said you don't know what you're expecting, but because you bought the rutabaga and tried it, it wasn't the flavor you're expecting. I, I know. I like things that are different, and um, you did say it was eggy, um. I guess it is egg, eggy, but I think of it as, I mean, because it is eggs, so in my head, I think of it as eggs, um, but it's also, you could, you could put you some cheese when you make it, 
You could put different seasonings on it to kind of help with it. Uh, I don't really, I don't really know. But it's not a cake flavor. Mm -mm. You might be able to make it that way if you add vanilla or something. I don't know. I like the flavor. But, you know, so if you find you don't like it, you might, um, you might do something different. So, but like I said, I think of it as a egg, egg pancake with some cheese on it. Um, <clears throat> so, but I, yeah, so, um, anyway, so for those of you who are trying it with different vegetables, make sure you let us know what other vegetables you're trying with it. All right, love you, bye. We got our burger in the bowl, and I was thinking, you know, last night, you know, I was singing an Italian song, or not before, whenever it was, whenever I was making my Italian stuff. So now, what do we think, like a, a good old, uh, you know, American burger song. So when I think American, I just had a song that was in my hand. Well, let's talk about our, our thing. And, oh, I know, hang on, I know I better say it right now. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye. Singing, this'll be the day that I die. So there we go. That that goes along with my, you know, they say, I don't know. Oh, they probably have burgers everywhere else, but just a good old burger. All right, we got my salad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My burger bowl. <clears throat> Y'all. If you ain't in a calorie deficit, you could add some bacon pieces. You could add some cheese. You could add all kinds of stuff. You could put this on some, uh, on a bun that you make out of eggs. You can make a baffle. You can make a beggar cake. Or you can make an egg cake. Mm-hmm. Today's happy. Today's Terry is thankful for yesterday's Terry. Good job last night's Terry. I approve. I got my apple. My thumb ain't pushing through it. It's a little sketch in that spot, but it's all right. All right, I'll see you at supper. Bye. Y'all, I ain't out walking. I'm going to make a daisy chain. Look at that. That's what I'm out here making because I'm out here in my bare feet. I'm grounding. Isn't that what they call this? Grounding. I just had to get outside of those four walls. Okay, bye. Look, see? I got it on. Now, in a couple days, if you see me scratching and clawing at my neck, I do have a spot here, but that's because I was waxed last this weekend. I haven't been putting my medicine on it. But um, if you see me clawing at my neck, just know I probably got chiggers. <laughs> okay, bye. <clears throat> Supper tonight. Surprise! It's green beans and chicken with the store bought Alfredo on it. Remember the other day I was thinking I was going to try to make something to put on my chicken. I don't remember what it was. I know we talked about homemade Alfredo sauce, but y'all. I ain't gonna be low calorie. It was like cottage cheese and Parmesan cheese and and milk, which I'm okay with cottage cheese and milk, but putting that Parmesan cheese in there, ping ping ping. And since I'm, I like saying this because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm say I'm talking fancy when I say this. Are you ready? Since I'm on a cut, since I'm on a cut, I need to keep my calories on the lower side. So I kind of got to watch and can't do too much of the of the other stuff. Because it's got to fit my macros. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm having. But if you remember, I made a video the other day of me making my cottage cheese ice cream. So what I did was... They were in that rectangle container. So I come home the night I brought this baby. And uh, I come home and I melted them down. 
and put them all in these containers. So this is a cottage cheese, the blueberry cottage cheese ice cream. Mm -hmm. I knew it'd be good. You know what else? One lady said she uses her different skinny syrups or Torani syrups. And I got to thinking, now I don't have a blueberry one, but you know these squirty thingies that I use for my flavorings? Like my, I got a pineapple and mango. I got a lemonade. Ooh, blueberry lemonade. That would have been good. So, dear future Terry, don't forget about your, there, don't forget about your flavor enhancers for your ice cream, because, uh, yeah. So anyway, so yep, that's what I'm having for supper. And uh, this is night two. This ain't about the ice cream. <clears throat> this ain't about, y'all don't need to go out and buy a creamy. You ain't got to do that. I'm just obsessive and impulsive, so it's, I did it, but you don't mean you got to. Don't run out and get one. Because you can make you that cottage cheese um, and protein powder. Because that's what this was to begin with. You can make that cottage cheese and protein powder ice cream <clears throat> with the blender. And don't even worry about getting a creamy. You ain't got to get one unless you're just impulsive like me. So, alright. Well, that's my summer. I love y'all. Oh, here's a song in my head today. Wait a minute. I got to pick this up. It's paper towel. I went back to try to eat it. Okay. Are you ready? I'm... How's it go? I'm calling the angels down. I'm storming the gates of hell. <coughs> Tell the devil he to own my soul. I'm taking back what the enemy stole. Oh, I'm calling the angels down. Oh, there. Let me think. Um, in in kids' church, one of my favorite songs to listen to those kids sing is the. It's um, if I'm gonna. I got a reason to praise the Lord, oh my soul, praise the Lord, because it's so cute, because they have motions for everything, I don't remember the motions, but I know they use this one a lot of times for crown, um, and then Jesus, how's it, it this is Jesus whenever they say his name, but anyway, so with these little kids, they get to that part, the part of the chorus about, and they always say, now sing loud enough for your parents to hear you. And they, gotta praise the Lord. Oh, my soul. <laughs> Them little kids sing so loud, it's hilarious. But I've been in the, in the, you know, in the church area and I've never heard the kids screaming. But they're going to have to, if they, they said they're going to have to build on to the kids church area because it's grown so much. They're going to have to make sure they push it back a little further away from the, you know, from where we sit during the service. Because if they get any bigger and louder, they're going to hear it in church for sure. But it's just so cute. I just love looking at them. They just scream their lids off. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to eat because my food's getting going to get cold. And it's 530. And you know, homie ain't missing that. See, I remember that show? Homie the Clown. Bam. Homie don't play that. He had a big, he had a, um, it was like a, a, a pool, no, no, a roll, a pin. I think it was a, a, a pin, not a rolling pin, a bowling pin. And he would, he would just bob him on the head and, homie, don't play that. Does anybody remember that show? Or that was, homie, don't play, what was that from? I think it was from In Living Color. In Living Color. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yes. For the record, I did have just a little bit of coffee this afternoon, but I tried to make it a half cup. You know, it's all right. People can just deal with me hyper. It ain't, I don't have to deal with it. Bye. Here's my macros for the day. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.